The Japanese government has added some towns more than 20 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to the evacuation zone. Authorities say residents are given about a month to leave. Nobody in advertising wants to get rid of boils, Julia. They're good little money spinners. All we want to do is offer hope of getting rid of them. I am extremely sorry to have caused great anxiety to residents near the plant. Considering health effects, I ask the residents to evacuate in an orderly fashion. Idano says annual radioactive exposure in the expanded area is estimated to be above 20 millisieverts. The announcement followed an earlier designation of areas closer to the plant as a no-entry zone. The government also lifted an advisory to stay indoors or voluntarily evacuate for people in the areas between 20 and 30 kilometers from the plant. Listen, I don't think I'm going to make it back tonight. I'm going to blitz it. <laughs> fine, fine. It's going fine. Just the deadline's getting serious. Yeah, Edano warned residents in those areas the advisory may be brought back if the situation at the plant worsens. The operator of the crippled nuclear plant in Japan has started removing debris from one of the most radioactive parts of the plant. Fluoride. Does it work? No idea. Since April 6th, Tokyo Electric has been using remote-controlled machines to remove debris that was apparently scattered by hydrogen explosions. But it hasn't been able to touch the debris around the number 1, 2, 3 and 4 reactor buildings because of high radiation. The area around the number three reactor building is particularly radioactive, so workers haven't been able to stay long enough to assess the damage to the building and its facilities. I tell you, Julie, I'm out of my mind. I'm getting nowhere. Tokyo Electric began using remote-controlled machines to clear the debris around the number three reactor building on Friday. The firm is also pumping highly radioactive water from a tunnel connected to the number two reactor to a waste treatment facility in the compound. It says the water level in the tunnel has fallen by 7 centimeters since pumping began on Tuesday and that there have been no leaks. The operator of the crippled nuclear plant in Japan has started removing debris from one of the most radioactive parts of the plant. Since April 6th, Tokyo Electric has been using remote controlled machines to remove debris that was apparently scattered by hydrogen explosions but it hasn't been able to touch the debris around the number one, two, three and four reactor buildings because of high radiation. The area around the number three reactor building is particularly radioactive, so workers haven't been able to stay long enough to assess the damage to the building and its facilities. We call it HP Megabatch, and if it doesn't work on your blackheads, you can spread the fucker on toast! Tokyo Electric began using remote-controlled machines to clear the debris around the number three reactor building on Friday. The firm is also pumping highly radioactive water from a tunnel connected to the number two reactor to a waste treatment facility in the compound. It says the water level in the tunnel has fallen by seven centimeters since pumping began on Tuesday and that there have been no leaks. The operator of the Cripple nuclear plant in Japan is trying to cool the number one reactor by pumping water into its containment vessel. The government says the water could make the containment vessel less resistant to earthquakes. In the Cripple Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, operations to inject water into reactor number one, where the fuel has suffered the heaviest damages, have been ongoing. Currently, water is being injected at a pace of six tons per hour. This is reactor number one. According to TEPCO, steam has been emitted as the injected water comes into contact with heated fuel. The vapor has subsequently found its way into the containment vessel. Can you handle a Monday pitch? It's a quickie. You'd have to go in dry. What's the product? It's a boil in a bag. Vapor has precipitated into water and is believed to have collected in the containment vessel. Yesterday, Tokyo Electric Power Company said accurate data on the water level is not yet available. Water has collected at the spherical bottom of the flask shaped containment vessel. The water level is gradually rising. And down below, 
The suppression chamber is mostly full with water. Therefore, the area below is submerged in water. The sphere-shaped bottom half of the containment vessel is half full of water. Now, this is a roadmap to its restoration from the accident. TEPCO plans to flood the containment vessel up to the top of the fuel for reactors 1 and 3 to achieve stable cooling reactors by July of this year. TEPCO believes the method will not undermine the strength of the structure. However, the Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency says massive amounts of water may undermine the quake resistance of the structure and indicated studies to validate the strength is necessary. Meanwhile, results of contamination assessments in seawater close to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant were disclosed. Reading from samplings of seawater around the inlet of reactor number 2 taken Thursday revealed radioactive iodine-131 concentrations at 3,800 times safety limits slightly down from readings the previous day. The Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency commented the data reveals the readings are stable, indicating there are no new releases of contaminated water being released to the sea. However, the situation will need to be continuously monitored. Meanwhile, outdoor activities are regulated in a total of facilities, including nursery schools, kindergartens, primary and junior high schools in 13 locations in Fukushima City, Kodiyama City, and Date City. As the atmospheric readings exceed the national set limits of 3.8 microsieverts per hour. Recent readings indicate the radiation levels have fallen below the limits for two consecutive days. The Science and Education Ministry indicate the regulation can be lifted. The final decision will be made by the Fukushima Prefectural Board of Education and the principals of each educational institution.